Switch chat room, take one. What's an accomplishment you're really proud of? Leading my family to God. Achieving the rank of Eagle Scout. Uh, getting to run audio at my church. Traveling by myself for the first time. For me, it was uh, building up enough trust and enough of a relationship with our audio team here at our church to um, run audio for one of our campuses. And um, it's been a very good experience and I'm hoping that I can continue to build on that. Um, for me, it would be leading my family to God. So there was a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of miscommunication and a lot of fighting, but also a lot of joy and happiness. And now, like, if you see us now, we're like completely like unrecognizable from what we were in the past. So it's been really good. For me, um, it was the first time I traveled like alone um, and I had to like, like form a plan like to save money and maybe they were, there were things that um, I wanted to buy for myself, but then I was like, okay, so you have to, you, your goal is to travel, so you have to like maybe sacrifice those things so you can't like get to that. What are some of the sacrifices you had to make to accomplish that goal? For me, it was a lot of like free time that I had to give up because I had to put in a lot of work, whether that was just completing all the paperwork that I needed to get done or like one of the requirements is basically like doing an Eagle project. And I had to spend a lot of time doing that and just giving up time, hanging out with friends or just, I mean, like I said, just doing what I wanted to do and actually putting forth effort into achieving my goal. I'm the type of guy who can just like do nothing and I'm cool with that, you know, but definitely had to get serious and be more intentional about um, growing my skill set as far as audio goes and just trying to get better at that. Yeah, it took a lot of um, time as well, a lot of dedication. Even like after all the hardships and all the ups and downs, you know, I just still had to persevere, just keep being there, keep spreading the word, keep showing, keep inviting. It took a lot of effort, <laughs> it really did. When you hear about the spiritual discipline of fasting, what comes to mind? For me, what comes to mind is sacrifice something that I enjoy. Yeah, me sacrificing something, but God also rewarding me for it. My mind really just goes to giving up things we love for things we love even more. Having the responsibility and like completing your fast or like maintaining it. I feel like it just takes like a lot of responsibility on your part just to maintain and give up something that is always close or always has been close to you. Is there something in your life you could set aside for a time to make space for God? Some people that are close to me will tell you that like, you know, I'm always trying to just research and study and get better at what it is I'm doing. But like, you know, there still has to be that intentionality of wanting to get closer to God, so. I could agree with that too in a little bit. But more of it for me is like, I know like when I have free time in my day. So I feel like instead of just wasting that away on doing whatever isn't important, I feel like I should be putting that towards spending more time with God. I think for me, it would be um, TV shows because that's something that I really enjoy doing. And you know, that takes time. Do you feel resistance to the idea of giving up something you enjoy to make space for God? I would say for sure. I mean, it's definitely not easy giving up something that you've always enjoyed or always like kept close to you. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, it is. Uh, there is a bit of resistance there. Um, like really it's what I, it's what I love and it's what I want to get better at. But it's like, sometimes for me, my issue is that sometimes I just need to step back and remember the one who gave me the gift in the first place, you know? So that's something that I think about. Uh, at one point I did the Daniel fast and one of the things is to um, not eat like processed sugar. And for me, I love sweets. So for me, that was like, that part specifically was difficult, but then I had to like um, have discipline in that. But also, like you said, think about like, be expectant of what God is going to do. It's, it's challenging for sure. I completely agree. <laughs> um, but I also think like for me, it's 
also that perspective, but like time-wise. Like I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm doing this fast for three weeks. I'm like, oh, it doesn't sound too bad. The first day, the first week, I'm like, I have two more weeks of this. <laughs> That's gonna be difficult, <laughs> you know? Um, and it's a fast isn't about doing it for one day or something. It's about being dedicated and being committed to giving up something that you love to show God um, your dedications. When do you think is a good time to fast? Yeah, any time I think is a good time to um, get into like fasting. And I feel like it's a good idea to maybe talk to somebody who has done it before, um, like any kind of fast really, um, and just hear their thoughts and their, what did they do? What, uh, what was their plan? Um, and that really helps you like, oh, get into perspective and like um, hear their experience and maybe they can like um, say like what God did as well. That's yeah. kind of like a motivator as well um, to like, I really want God to like work on this in my life. So I'm going to fast uh, specifically like thinking about this, um, yeah. I think the minute you think of it, do it. Because if you start hesitating or you start like, oh, I'll come back to this in an hour, like you're gonna instantly start thinking of what reasons not to do it, why you don't want to do it. So if you're thinking about it, do it. Like at that second, start it. So make that plan, be dedicated, you know, jump into that like faith. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that uh, discipline is required in most every area of our lives, you know? So I think that if it's, put into our mind for some reason, I think that that's the time to seek ways that you can like practice it and just get in the habit of wanting to be disciplined in every area of your life, so. Go ahead and like share this experience with someone else. Go alongside with them or just challenge them to do it with you. I feel like having that accountability with someone else will make that honestly 10 times easier. You both are relying on each other, checking in, and just seeing how one is doing. I I feel like that's a great start. What's one thing you want to try based on this conversation? Doing it with someone, because just like Parker said, you know, it makes it easier because of accountability, just um, checking in on one another. Doing it with someone else would make that easier, in my opinion. I'd say even just doing my first fast would be step one right there. So I don't know what that is, but definitely decide with someone and just see how it goes. Yeah, I feel like May, um, I've done, I've done a fast uh, that's related to um, food, but I think it would be cool to like maybe do a fast of like no, like no, I don't know, social media for this amount of time or uh, no TV for this amount of time. So just try uh, different types of fasting. Yeah, for me, I would say do it with other people too, you know. Um, I don't think necessarily it would be for me the accountability, but more of just if God can bless me with me doing a fast, how, like, how could he bless both of us, you know, or a group of us that are doing it. 